We started the week with some new images from the upcoming Marvel Phase 2 movies. The images included our first peek at what Ant-Man's suit would look like. In another image, it looks like Ant-Man running down a hall while shrinking. Other images included concept art for the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Captain America sequel, The Winter Soldier. We also got to see a couple of set photos from the new Thor movie due out later this year. These images were made available to proud owners of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 Avengers Assembled Blu-ray. In the box, they were given an action code that they could use on a site that looked like a shield login screen. Thor The Dark World is due for release on November 8th this year, while Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Ant-Man are set for release in theaters next year, followed by The Avengers 2 in 2015. In more sequel news, Paramount has given the go-ahead for yet another G.I. Joe movie after Retaliation earned $132 million on its opening. Variety reports, quote, Retaliation outdid its predecessor by 35% globally, thanks in no small part to the 3D upcharge. If Retaliation continues to keep this up, the film will land in the ballpark of $400 million worldwide. They are also quoted as saying that the next film will most definitely be in 3D. Apparently, Mr. Fish did not die. After 10 years, the sequel to Finding Nemo has finally been announced. Ellen DeGeneres confirmed on her show this week that she will be rephrasing her role as Dory. The film picks up a year after Finding Nemo and will feature Dory on her own adventure to reunite with loved ones. Finding Dory is expected in theaters on the 25th of November, 2015. Monday, we got our first glimpse at the new GTA 5 box art. Rockstar released the cover Monday morning after pictures of a mural on the side of a building in New York City showed what seemed to be a GTA game cover. The box features the three main protagonists along with a puppy dog, a chopper, a blonde chick, and a man in a gas mask. The game will release this September on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Some sad news service this week, Otaku reported on Wednesday that LucasArts was shut down. Quote, staff were informed of the shutdown this morning, according to a reliable Kotaku source. Some 150 people were laid off, and both the studio's current projects, Star Wars The First Assault and Star Wars 1313 were cancelled. End quote. And, just in case that wasn't sad enough, Kotaku also stated that 1313 was going to be based on, on Boba. Quote, last year just before E3, LucasArts shifted focus and turned it into a game about the bounty hunter Boba Fett. Personally, this brought a tear to my eye, and I'm sure it did to many of you too. 1313 was looking like a promising next-gen game. My only question is, can some other studio pick this license up and not let it go to waste? Very slim. That's the answer uh, Kotaku got from multiple sources. Guess Boba fans have to keep on waiting then. And finally, we get our first glimpse at Edios Montreal's upcoming Thief reboot trailer, which was leaked online earlier in the week. In the trailer, you hear Garrett describing the different ways in which the game might be played. Thief is expected to release on PC, PlayStation 4, and next-generation platforms in 2014.